They've got curtains. They've got cameras. They've got motion sensors, LEDs, locks, plugs, little finger dudes. They've got everything and much, much more. SwitchBot is aiming to be the one-stop shop for anything smart home. SwitchBot did send me over a ton of different products to review. All of these opinions are completely mine. They have not looked at this video. Now they are sponsoring a little segment in this video and we'll go over that, but everything in the review, completely my own. SwitchBot is actually doing something really cool this month. Prime Day is coming up pretty, pretty soon. If you're watching this video when it came out, SwitchBot will distribute 10% off coupons from June 30th to July 6th for its newly released products. This also is coming with 50% off certain other products during the Prime Day promotion. All of that to be said, they're doing even more. 50 iPhone 14 giveaway. You know that iPhone 14 thing that hasn't came out yet? Yeah. Well, anyone who buys a SwitchBot product from SwitchBot.com or Amazon.com is going to get entered in a chance to win an iPhone 14. Everything will be in the details on SwitchBot dash switch-bot.com where you can find all the details on the SwitchBot Prime Day promotion. Let's get into the real reviews on the SwitchBot products and which ones you may want to buy on this Prime Day deal. The first thing I want to go through is the little finger bot. That thing is really cool, really useful, kind of turns anything you want into something smart. Let's say you have a light switch. They actually have a retrofit little tab that you hook onto your light switch, turn that light switch into something smart without ever changing anything about the light. They also have curtains. If you have a curtain rod and you wanna change your curtains to be smart, open them up in the morning whenever you're waking up, all you have to do is attach this bot to your rod. It takes the curtain, opens it all the way up, and you're good to go. Next, we have the cameras. The cameras are really great because the quality inside of the application is you know, really nice. It's to an average user, not something to complain about. Now, it's not the perfect image. It's not 4K, you know, 1080p HDR or anything like that. It's, but it, it's, it's nice. You know, I can go in there. I have it set up to watch my dogs during the day and I can go in there and I can clearly see them laying around on the couch. This is something that an average user is really going to be able to use. It's, it's going to be something that they're not going to complain about. And I think that's really what SwitchBot's goal is with their products. The next product we have is the, one of their newest products, which is the lock and keypad. Now these are really great. And I actually retrofit them right onto my door. It takes five minutes, it's such a breeze. They come with three different connectors that will fit most different locks. Uh, mine actually was a little bit farther away from the door than I thought it was going to be. And all you have to do is extend the uh, little pad they have screw the screws back in and you're good to go. It, it really is something that will fit on just about everything. SwitchBot also has motion sensors and contact sensors. Um, I tested those, they're okay. Um, motion sensors takes about four seconds to turn on the little SwitchBot dude uh, to turn on my light. Not great, but you know, if I'm walking into a room by the time I sit on my desk, it's gonna be turned on and that's really all that matters contact sensor, which is kind of your door sensor, window sensor. That's very similar. It takes about four seconds to turn on the little switch bot dude, which is, you know, more than enough to, uh, for the average user. They also have little meters. Now these meters are really nice, regardless if you are using them for just displaying, if you're using them for actual home automation, I like them just because there's a really good visual right at my desk. I can see them, see what the temperature is inside my room, what the humidity is. Um, and I don't have to look inside of Home Assistant or get some other display in order to do that. Let's talk about the last thing because that last thing is really what got me really interested. And it's the new smart plug. Now this smart plug is HomeKit enabled. Now what that means is it's really for Apple users. If you use Apple HomeKit and you wanna to connect to SwitchBot with this plug, it automatically going to connect to your HomeKit instance. But that came with a side benefit. And that side benefit is Home Assistant is also HomeKit. Well, kind of. HomeKit enabled products actually show up inside of Home Assistant automatically without doing anything else. This is really sick because now SwitchBot works with Home Assistant. 
That's awesome. All I had to do was plug in the SwitchBot, use the SwitchBot application to set up the plug on the Wi-Fi. Immediately, I saw it in Home Assistant. Immediately, I was able to go there, it discovered it, and I set it up, and it's inside of Home Assistant. Now, the plug does come with power monitoring, and this is not inside of Home Assistant. Uh, I don't know exactly why, I'm guessing that the protocol with HomeKit doesn't actually send that information over, but I do see that inside of the SwitchBot app that it is doing power monitoring. I can see, you know, the graphs and everything, which is kind of a bummer, but this is a good outlook in the future because I did ask SwitchBot whether or not they were going to be looking to do this in the future. And they are actually coming out with a lock that's going to be HomeKit enabled and also a hub that's HomeKit enabled. Now, that's interesting because if they have the hub, that's HomeKit enabled. In theory, that means everything is HomeKit enabled. The hub is, and hub connects to everything else, and you could have multiple hubs around your house, then technically maybe everything could be HomeKit enabled and therefore inside of Home Assistant. We'll, we'll see how that works out, and I'll, I'll definitely you know, do some updating, whether it's on Twitter or whether it's here on YouTube. Make sure to follow, like, and subscribe on all of the different platforms. I, I think this is really interesting. Again, you know, I, I was definitely very skeptical of SwitchBot in the beginning. You know, I didn't like that they didn't have anything with Home Assistant. They don't have RTSP on their cameras, but they do now have HomeKit and they do now have a REST API that you can utilize. So in theory, you can connect to more than that through Home Assistant. You just have to do a weird REST command in your YAML files. And I don't really want to get into that. There's a lot of other products that they're coming out with that I know are on the horizon for them. And hopefully I can get those as well in order to try and test them out. And especially if they're HomeKit enabled or, or have some interaction with Home Assistant, then definitely going to check those out. But we'll get there. I, I know we will. I'm going to continue to poke them for better integration in the Home Assistant. And if you guys want the integration into Home Assistant as well, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you want to see from SwitchBot. And I, I want to see you know, what you're thinking, you know, whether or not you think SwitchBot's going to be a player in the Home Assistant realm. That's it for SwitchBot. Definitely uh, stay tuned and uh, like and subscribe. Thanks, everyone.